Uh, dear viewers, and my guest for today is Ralphie B. He's living in Berlin, Germany. Yeah. So, Ralphie, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm I'm excited and and I'm I'm feeling very good and um, yeah, because my song came out yesterday and I'm so thankful for being here. Thank you. Who is Ralphie B? Ralphie Gray. Ralphie Gray. <laughs> yeah. Um. Actually, this name came from from a, uh, a a friend of mine gave me this name. My actual name is Ralph Gressler, and uh, Fabian is a guitar player from LA. Okay. Uh, and he, by the way, he he played all the guitars for SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and and we had some gigs together uh, a lot of years ago, and uh, and then always he wanted to. To tell the people about me, and uh, he he couldn't say my name, so he he, he invented his name, Ralph yeah, Gray. Yeah. So and I I took this for for this synth project. And yeah, like the, the bass lines in the, with the real uh, bass guitar. Yes, I'm um, I'm bass player actually. I play double bass, electric bass, and uh, and uh, and everything that is needed in the studio. Yeah. Cool. But I'm I'm bass player since I was uh, in school. In school, I was first. I was a DJ. I, I, I yeah. I, there were there were always school discos and so. Yeah. And I made my own mixtapes with uh, with cassette player and another tape machine and bouncing back and forth. Yeah, this was my experience with with mixing and 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 uh, the DJ DJ thing. So you were. Yeah, and that, kind. yeah. And my father is guitar player and. And then I found a base, I, and I came from. Uh, you you have to know I come from the east, East Germany, and uh, good instruments were rare. We had only our own East German instruments. And um, a friend of mine uh, told me here yeah, he 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 got a Yamaha a synthesizer from from West Germany, so or, or from the west. So yeah. And then we decided, okay, let's 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 form a band. And uh, this when I started. Uh, this was was when I started playing guitar, bass guitar. Yeah. Was it in the 80s, 90s? 80s, uh, the end of the 80s. Yeah. So you were an 80s kid also. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I know every artist since um, uh, since I was a a, a little kid. Uh, Downstairs, there was a guy who listened always to music, uh, Neue Deutsche Welle. I don't know if you do remember. New Wave that. from Germany. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. And um, if the first song I remember is Tainted Love, Soft Cell. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. And since then, Falco and... Um, and first uh, German rapper. <laughs> Austrian, yeah, he's he's great. Austria, yeah. the, the commissar and and Amadeus, Amadeus, great grooving songs. Um, I I found a, a a radio station in Berlin. And they play always the 80s. Yeah, and if you if you just listen for one hour, you will always hear Falco, for instance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the station 80s 80s? This one, yeah, 80, 80, yes, and uh, there's another from Berlin, Spree Radio, you know, River Spree, and so, yeah, yeah. yeah and this both, uh, they, they, they play the 80s, yeah. Amazing, 80s. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I, I know, I mean, I don't know if I know every artist from the 80s, but I, since I'm, I was a, a, a DJ in school and I recorded all the music on cassette, yeah. I, I, uh, I listen to the radio and always record it. <laughs> record, play, and pause. Yeah, yeah. This was uh, how how I grew up with music, and uh, and then I decided to to be a musician, and I, I studied uh, bass and 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 double bass, and um, now I'm back as a uh, as a, as a musician. Uh, producer and uh, a DJ, and and I I do everything equal, so to say. Yeah, and I enjoy every facet of uh, making music. Uh, well, always important. Uh, that is uh, that is a pleasure to make music and uh, being uh, busy with uh, music, of course. Listen to yeah. music and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So your uh, new track is out. 
Yeah. Um, what can you tell about this track? Yeah, it. Um, what can I tell about it? Uh, I was, I was starting the the TikTok thing, and uh, it was recommended, and I thought, okay, let's 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 check it out, and then there came a lot of video snippets about AI. Yeah. Everybody is talking about AI, and I thought, okay, maybe. Uh, uh, I can check this out and and uh, see how it works and what can I uh, use it for, and then yeah I used it for 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 vocals yeah. and, and and for for I called her Stacy the, the the woman you see in in the video is she's yeah. an AI generated woman and uh, the voice is uh, is. Uh, AI generated as well. So, and I played around with this, and this is it's a cool possibility. Um, yeah, this this was the thing. And and if you listen to the lyrics, it's about uh, doing your thing. Just just start and go with the flow, and 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 just just go on and and do it. Yeah, that's what I what I have done with this song and with my project and. Um, I'm so excited to to reach people already now. Yeah, I believe that. I see that um, my, my song from January um, was listened. Half of the listeners came from the US and then Scandinavia, UK and so and and Germany and 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 Central Europe is on rank four or five. So it's great. It, it went around the world so far. Very cool. How long have you been making music then? I'm a musician since I was a kid. Yeah. I played uh, in school. I played uh, uh, I played drums and I learned piano for one year. My father was trying to to teach guitar for me. And um, yeah, and but then I split with everything and uh, I was a school DJ. Yeah. And yeah, then I thought, yeah. since my, my my friend told me he has a he has an exciting synthesizer from the West. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's use this and and make music. And since then, I I I was playing. And how many tracks have you made until now? Or have I haven't I haven't heard any other tracks. So. Mm -hmm. Um, hard to say. Um. I mean, I I do professional recording, let's say for 15 years or so. Mm -hmm. 15 years, I had a studio in the uh, former broadcast house in uh, for in in Berlin. It it is called Funkhaus na Leperstraße. This is where all the broadcast um, was uh, made for the GDR. Okay. And I had a had a little room, and I started there recording, and so. But um, I recorded at home, and I recorded my my bands in school already with tapes, and so I was always excited to to record and try to get to get the best results out of the sound, and so. And yeah. I never I was never satisfied with sounds from other um, studios when I went there with uh, with other bands. So that's why I, I bought stuff and and tried out and and learned from from everybody and and so yeah and um there there is a website uh, my uh, you can you can see some some projects that I have done uh, my my former studio was called Mission Control Studio and um, it was uh, for singer songwriters I I love songs actually. No matter which which genre. Yeah, you do it all by yourself. The lyrics, the music, the, uh, the, the musical ideas. Yes, for my project, I do everything by myself, um, except uh, uh, release the, the beast. Release the beast was um, uh, the lyrics and the and the melody was uh, was made by by Sandy Sage. Okay. But uh, uh, the last song is hundred <laughs> percent. You hear what you can feel. And so it's hundred percent me. Yeah. 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 You can you can completely control the the whole thing. You can uh, 
do everything you like and 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 uh, also with the technology of today you can make it everywhere where you are you can go on vacation you can work on your project of course and that's amazing yeah yeah absolutely um uh, but i must say i i enjoy um to be in the studio because i i i love to use uh or analog synthesizers and stuff yeah You're, yeah and you take it to take it with uh, with me uh, for vacation or so <laughs> uh, and family is not so uh, um it's well, not then, you, yeah. then you can use vsts and a uh, little keyboard of course with your uh, yeah, absolutely, huh? absolutely. I, I would do this or if i if i go for two weeks uh, somewhere else I, I i would write some lyrics or think about um what what i can do and and do the whole um the whole uh, uh, how do you back back office work, so to say. I yeah. mean, writing a song or or, or recording a song is it, it needs one day, and then I I can do a, a whole song from nothing to the master in let's say 12, 16 hours. I I I have done this already. Um, uh, but the the all the other work is is so much more. It's um, this is um, the actual thing to yeah. to show it to the people, to bring it to the people, uh, to contact people, and and to to be seen, to be heard. This is this is what um, nobody sees when when if you if you see an artist, you see him or her performing, but if if it's if it's a self-made artist, this is only. I would say 20% of of it, and um, yeah, many artists only want to um, to perform and 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 write and record, and so. Yeah. But I decided to okay. Uh, there is no gatekeeper anymore except my my inner voice, or or I I have to do it. So your your own limits or your uh, your imagination is. Uh... The, the 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 power that you have yeah i i, ju I just go i got just go for it and i try with to... no limits <laughs> yeah <laughs> go, go with the flow <laughs> the only limits are the time yeah time is absolutely limi limited yes. yeah that's that's true yeah i, I just did a, a a a video project for my school where i'm working mm -hmm. uh, and i'm working in the facility uh department from the school mm -hmm. And they asked me to do a video project, but that has taken a lot of time of my private time. But I don't, I don't matter because uh, I learn a lot from uh, that kind of things. And uh, my manager says, "Well, it's, uh, it's, it, it, you have made amazing product." Um, sure. But yeah, so it's only a shame they're not going to use it now. <laughs> Why, why not we what use it now what, what do you well mean? yes to uh they are coming uh, i think 100 150 people and he has to tell uh, with a powerpoint presentation and uh to all the people about um uh, uh sustainability and all that kind of things so we made a lot like uh, a few recorded video recordings and mm. then a complete video and uh, where he's telling about all that kinds of uh, uh, stuff. And um, well, the uh, his 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 boss is to is, wants to do something else. So okay. maybe he's going to use it uh, for another time. Mm -hmm. For the future, he says it's uh, that is what I was looking for. So oh, okay, yeah. Let's hope we uh, can make it uh, can make more of that uh, kind of things for the future. But okay. Yeah. That's uh, uh, for now. Um, I heard uh, one track of you, uh, but is there coming an uh, album or uh, mm. EP or some kind? Uh, I think or what what I want to do this year is uh, a single, another single, another single, another single. I try to do my best to to bring out every six to eight weeks. A new single. It was recommended and by 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 my uh, marketing course. I I I, I learn in the, in the course uh, in the online hey. course and there's a yeah. there's, there's a guy I can call and so and uh, it is recommended to to bring out uh, so they have you have kind of waves for for this 
and uh, uh, the wait for release the beast was uh, uh, was uh, it was the perfect time now to release the, the new song go with the flow and uh, i'm i'm already working uh, on two different uh, on two new two new songs um that i will bring out in the same way 6 to 8 weeks and if if i have released uh, eight or nine songs i will put them together in one album with uh, uh, two or three extra tracks that I will I will push out uh, as a whole okay yeah the the thing is uh, if i mean uh, i can reach uh, the same people with one single or with one album and that's why I, I I will do singles because I can start now and I don't have to collect and wait for a year to to show them. Yeah, you can bring out uh, uh, the next tracks when you want, and uh, also yeah. the um, you know um, what you have learned. Yeah. And is there there's some kind of curve? Mm -hmm. uh, then you, and, and what is the best time to bring out the track? Uh, Every six to eight weeks, actually. Yeah. And it also depends on the day. It, I, I just, I just do what is recommended, and what I see is uh, uh, most of of artists bring out a, a, a new song Fridays on Friday. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what I think is the good thing about it is um, uh, it comes on Friday, and and on the weekend everybody is at home and may has some time and. Maybe they are interested in new music, and uh, and for the algorithms, it's uh, the the first day and in the first three days are important. Okay. So makes sense to bring out a new song on Friday, so you have the 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 most power most attention in 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 three days. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. That's why. That's why I it, it for me. I decided. Okay, let's do it. I don't. I don't think about it. I just do it because it's recommended and it worked well for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, one personal question: the clothes that you are wearing is yeah. that is that uh, with some kind of ID from you that I that you're wearing red cap, red mm -hmm. uh, Adidas uh, jacket? It's, because I've seen seen it before on your video clips on also posts on Instagram. Yeah. Um. Actually, I like these clothes, and a friend of mine uh, um, uh, wears these these clothes too. And I, when I started this Ralphie Ruff, Gray thing, I thought, okay, would be cool to have uh, um, to, to, so that they, they that people remember me. And that's why I wear this this cap and. Uh, and I copied actually uh, this with the, with my yellow glasses. <laughs> I copied it from my friend. He, he's drummer. Uh, uh, um, uh, I don't know if, if he's uh, he 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 has a drum and bass project. Um, called, okay. Called oh man, this is too spontaneous for me. <laughs> but but it, it came out. It I thought about and I tried some things and so and and this is easy to make and it's it's comfortable for me. I I feel I feel good with this clothes and uh, I look for something that uh, uh, some somebody who who sees me on the socials uh, and uh, see me come so and uh, it's yeah just for the remember effect. Right. Yeah. But I like it. I I I I wear uh, 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 these kind of jackets in in my private. Uh, That's important. Uh, uh, but this one, this special is is our, of course made for. for ah, that is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yesterday I I, uh, I I listened to the radio. They do you remember Dan Harrow? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I, so maybe you can. Um, I would say play dead or alive. Yeah, I will. A great song. I always enjoy to 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 hear. Maniac is also cool. And um no, I forgot my question to you. No problem. It will come back. But dead or alive is just a cool <laughs> song. And what I uh, 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 so since we 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 talked about Deepish Mode, um the new single from Deepish Mode, uh they they use 
the same kind of baseline like like, like me that this bo 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 yeah very cool <laughs> well let me be honest i only like the depeche mode from the 80s and uh, the late 90s maybe yeah what they are making now it's no not my kind of thing okay so that's my personal uh, idea yeah. about it but but they are heroes for me anyway uh, yeah um, I, I, this is i mean i would say this is not the from for my taste it's it's not the best song they have ever made yeah that's true and it is it's not so creative like like they were in the 80s but the 80s anyway were so creative 70s are creative too but yeah, but yeah. the 80s with all these synths and then stock Aitken waterman and all all these crazy uh, uh, ideas they they made with music yeah. and and everybody was ha, ha, everybody has had his had his, his 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 own sound for instance billy idol yeah he's a great performer he but he wrote this song by himself with his uh with his uh with his guitar player in company that's true so this this is yeah but the idol is also cool yeah all hell to the 80s <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can recommend a song that i could cover i i just look for uh, a cover that i can do yeah, would fit to my to my sound, but it's would totally different. That's good. Let me think about it, and I will come back to you uh, with yeah. that one. I want to thank you very much for doing this uh, interview. I think. Uh, you. Hope you liked it. Absolutely enjoyed uh, it. Especially the 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 the, the spontaneous part of, of all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you nervous for doing it? Yeah, I this I tell you a secret. This was my first interview, yeah. <laughs> and uh, in English, uh, of course. Um, I mean, Germans have always a little problem with their accent, the German English accent. But I would say I don't care. I, I just enjoy. And yeah, yeah. Well, I'm Dutch. I'm speaking English, but I'm not. I'm not sure if all all things are correct uh, spelled. But yeah. I'm doing my best here. Me too, me too. Thank you. <laughs> I, ju I just can say I'm, I appreciate uh, to be invited by you and uh, uh, so uh, and uh, that you, yeah, give me the the possibility be to 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 reach different and and, not, and new people. Sure. And uh, um, of course, I was on your on your uh, uh, blog and so and I enjoyed it. I thank you for that. Uh, your your block is there and you do all your work thank you yeah you're welcome